Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Yeah, on my previous video, M5 Stack Card Pewter Kit with M5 Stamp 3, S3, I got this interesting comment, do you know if there's a way to mechanically stack the M5 modules on top of each other? And yeah, I have a whole box full of M5 Stack <laughs> products. I've got this M5 Stack Basic Core, I have several of these. I also have the LoRa 868 module, and that works with the M5 Stack Core. Made a tutorial video. Oh, this is my favorite upgrade. That's the M5 Go Fire Battery Base. It's a 500 mAh battery, which is more battery than you get with the Core unit. Yeah, so here's the answer to the gentleman's question. There's screws that hold the stack together. Just need an Allen wrench for those. And then I'm thinking, wow, I've got an M5 Stack Core, LoRa 868, and I also have this <laughs> M5 Go Fire Battery Base. Yeah, and here's the charging port for that. It's a magnetic charging port. You just drop it on there and plug it into your USB. I have two of these units with the LoRa and the battery. So, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, hmm, last time I was in Flasher, I thought I saw M5 Stack go by. Well, there it is, M5 Stack. It doesn't say what unit, so I wonder what it'll work on. <laughs> Will it work on my core? All right, let's choose the latest beta version and hit Flash. Continue. I want a full erase and install. Hmm, I wonder what bundle web UI means. Interesting, that's new. Erase and flash, yeah. I cut a lot of this out, so we're catching up to the end here. OTA partition complete. Okay, it's done. And so it's rebooting, and now we're getting debug information via the serial connection. All right, we see it boot up here, and you can see unset. You got the familiar Meshtastic logo there. But we know we need to go in to configuration and change our regional settings to reflect United States. So we'll connect. Let's go ahead and connect via serial because we already are hooked up via the USB port. Wait for it to load up. I like to rename my device first. Meshtastic 79F8 is not as descriptive as I would like it to be. We'll go M5 stack, 79F8. All right, and saving that causes it to reboot, so we're gonna reconnect. All right, connect. Wait for it to load, it takes a moment. It's loading a lot of things. It's loading a hundred node list, loading channel information. Okay, we're gonna go into config, LoRa, Set our region to US. Yeah, somebody told me don't set your hop limit that high, but our channel utilization right now is around 25% or less most of the time. And that hop count lets us go great distances right now. Okay, so on the right, that's 2088 on my cell phone. It's in the window of the front bedroom and gets me all over town from there. I'm gonna send a test message to M5 stack 79F8. Oh, of course it wouldn't go through. How about that? <laughs> Let's try again. Oh, that one did go through. And listen to that buzzer sound on the M5 stack. It's letting me know I got a message. Hey, you got a message. You got a message. Let's go check. There's 2088. And there's my hello message. Let's go ahead and reply. Hi, 20A8. We send that. We see it come through. All right. So the M5 stack core with the LoRa 868 module and the M5 Go battery <laughs> is playing nice with Meshtastic. I, I wouldn't have come to this point if it wasn't for that comment on the video. All right.
right, yeah, we can see here, we can see the distances to other nodes that are advertising their location, because I've got my GPS hooked up. Let's see here, I've got eight satellites. That's pretty good. And we've got a GPS fix. All right, so here's another option for Meshtastic, the M5 stack core units with the, oh yeah. Yeah, so look for links down below to the product page. This is the basic core development kit. Now this lore module says it's out of stock, but there's a new version 1.1 868 lore module. I went ahead and bought it when I saw this because there's what they're telling me is there's a new one and it's compatible with my core unit and it's got a longer antenna. I do recommend the M5 Go Fire battery bottom and look, that's where the screws came from. <laughs> And if you get the M5 Go, yeah, it adds a B port and a C port and two RGB LED panels. That's pretty cool. And that's the charging base. You're going to want that if you get the M5 Go battery uh, base. I made a whole playlist around the LoRa 868 and M5 stack. You'll want to check that out. And, of course, I have a much larger M5 stack playlist that you might want to check out as well. So, leave a comment down below, give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my M5 stack videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.